We're here. We made it. All right. This month in startups. All I can say is that the sentiment has started to shift. Well, actually, you know what? I was in the car driving here. I was just about to kick no, things I, off. Yeah, I know, but like, I was driving here. Do I owe Adir and Adam, like, are you on loan or, or did I loan you to them? Like, how does this work? This is up, this is up to you and them to, to negotiate. The contrary, I was listening to the podcast today. Gab, it's very good. They, they hit an all time high. They're up very 30%. Good. Gab Appel was amazing. He bought so much audience for us. It I'm all like, started here. I'm like, guys, like, what's going on? There's so much for us to kick off with. Firstly, do you notice the new backdrop? <laughs> we are at Creatives Cube's Calton today. Calton! Um, so we're very happy to be here with the new backdrop. Look, I don't know about Adir and Adam in terms of who came, who, who, who's lending to who, but it was a lot of fun. If you haven't checked out their podcast, The Contrarians with Adam and Adir is very good. Logged in the details below. All right, let's get into the tech. Yep. Got to keep this tight. Yes. So the sentiment, if you look at the papers over the past couple of weeks in terms of tech news, the sentiment has certainly started to yep. shift. I'm feeling it. Less tech layoffs. Yes. More M&A discussion. Well, Benioff wants to bring his crew back after he's let them go. Yeah, there's still the hybrid nature of how employees and employers interact with each other is still up in the air. Yeah. It's up for grabs still. I was actually listening to 20 Minute VC this morning with uh, with Scott from Atlassian and he was talking about how they went um, early on in COVID, they went in team anywhere. They just doubled down <laughs> and that's he called that a one way door. They yeah. made that decision. Yep. They've hired, doubled, tripled their team, however many thousands of people are in Atlassian now. Many of those employees don't live within 20 or 30 kilometers of any one of their offices, so they can't exactly reverse that decision very easily or whether they would want to at all. We had Atlassian here last Tuesday night. 500 people are employed. Their second largest office in Australia is Melbourne, and they have no office. Actually, I tell a lie. They come here to Creative Cubes, not to Carlton, but all locations. But they have 500 staff in Victoria, hired remote in the peak of the pandemic, and have never gone back to office. So we, so we, so today, I don't know whether you know, but we're in Melbourne recording this in uh, in Melbourne. South by Southwest is having their inaugural event up in Sydney. So big shout out to all our friends in Sydney. We've got things covered down here in Melbourne. So let's talk about M&A. Yep. There's been a bang. Did you hear the bang around the M&A? I'm about to hear another one. Microsoft closed a $109 billion acquisition Activision. of Activision in the gaming. I'm They're gonna... doubling down on gaming, which is, which is huge. Um, Cisco acquired Splunk for close to $30 billion. Yep. Just even those two acquisitions, one closing and one being done, is momentum behind M&A. Atlassian this week announced that they've acquired Loom for yep. almost a billion dollars in cash. James, you use Loom? Yeah, I've seen Loom being used um, a lot. And I direct messaged you on Twitter or on X saying, whoa, that, yeah, that's you a did. big number. Yeah, you did, you did. Toby has a, has a way of uh, slacking, texting me, sending me a message on X. Um, and then well, lastly, don't back- speak on the phone a lot though. No. No. Yeah. Uh, Telstra bought um, Vercent. Okay. Uh, for 20, was it 20, 220, $268 million in the cloud computing space. So a lot of acquisitions taking place in cloud. People, yep. are, people are seeing the tailwinds, people are seeing the momentum, and we're starting to see the dollars flow. So even just that, that's a big shift. There's Imagine we had a pandemic, God forbid we actually go back to one, without cloud computing? Yeah. yeah. How, how on back earth? To, back to pigeons and fax machines. Mate, I'll send you a check in the mail. Like, what's going on here? Cloud computing has enabled all of this. Toby's finally got on the cloud computing space. Actually, no, that's not true. Trailblazers here at Creative Cubes, they've been uh, in the cloud since the very beginning. I built the whole you business like in the, the cloud. cloud. Yeah, I do. I and equally, you know, well, we serve thousands of customers. They wouldn't, I mean, some of them have requirements around tech and, and, and servers and stuff, but the vast majority are in the cloud. So talking about cloud, I don't know whether you saw the news, but Air Trunk mm -hmm. um, is a data center giant. Next DC, your brother-in-law is actually um, senior chief, chief commercial officer. Yeah. He's the man. Chief customer officer He's at uh, Next DC. So Air Trunk, one of their competitors, a big behemoth in the data center, they're heading towards a $10 billion IPO. So not only M&A, we're also seeing IPO starting to, to bubble. We also heard a couple of weeks ago, Rock to Thinking 2024 yep. might be an IPO. Canva also over the past week are starting to drip feed more information about their growth. How much ARR, annualized revenue, do you think that Canva has now? Oh. Just read it, it's on the sheet. <laughs> 2.7 billion. billion Aussie dollars. So That's so, ginormous. Yes. And That's huge. I actually, actually don't even think Canva's gotten out of like, they've just stretched. You're they haven't even run the 
Huh? You're a bull with Canva. Mate, they haven't even, I mean, let alone finish the first quarter. I don't even think they've broken out of their tracks to start the first quarter. 16 million paying subscribers, 150 million monthly active users. If you are Proud not- Proud to say I'm a monthly active user. Me, like, I got- You're a daily active user. Hourly. But if you're not using Canva, then where you at? <laughs> That's exactly right. So the other thing worth mentioning, we just finished the quarter. So Q1 of this financial year, for those of you who run your quarters July to June, Cut Through Ventures released their quarterly report, yep. which came out and said, what, $739 million was raised in Australia by startups yep. um, to the, to, to, in that quarter. Uh, it was down 42% year on year. Yep. Isn't that amazing? That's Last amazing. year was just, Last year in 2021 was just absolutely explosive. Money was flying around everywhere. All you needed to do was put your hat out and you'd get a couple of million bucks, if not more. If only. That, those, those times are changing, but sentiment for investors is starting to shift. Yep. Market conditions are better this quarter than they were last quarter. And yep. that's evidenced by looking at what's happening in the newspapers in the tech section and what we've said today about the M&A activity, there's cap raises happening, not as, not as often the cap raises. So there are things shifting, but it's shifting in different ways to 2021 and 20. 22. Agree. I can feel that here. No, I can. <laughs> I agree. Thank you for yeah. agreeing. Oh, well, I don't agree, Gav. Cut. No, I agree. And I can feel it. I can feel that in our community. I can feel it. I can it. feel it down in Cremorne and in Creative Cubes Richmond, which is actually Cremorne, yeah. but we can talk about that another time. Uh, it's, it's, an SEO, it's an SEO. It's an SEO thing. It, it's buzzing. It's, it, there's certainly momentum happening in the cafes, in the restaurants, in the co-working spaces. It's certainly happening. I'm just yep. conscious of time. So yep. we'll dive into our last topic. Yeah, please. Or maybe it's the second one. I mean, you and I can talk for hours, uh, which is a problem in itself. But but M&A, uh, investor sentiment, Mr. Yum and Love me it. and you merged. This is, this is amazing. Please. No, it is amazing. I like it. Why is it amazing? Well, I'm kind of like sick of having two accounts. Okay, that's fair <laughs> enough, that's fair enough. Um, and I really like what Mr. Young has done. The restaurant Miss Chu that has those amazing vegetarian yeah. spring rolls that yeah. I eat, they use uh, uh, Mr. Yum. Yeah. I don't ever have to talk to anybody. So does Fonda, uh, Mexican restaurant. Like there's a, there's a lot of great things going on. I really like Mr. Yum. And I'm glad that they're merging. Yep. The Spaceship on their way out. Yep. Steak tried to lob an offer over to Self Wealth to acquire them. That didn't go through yet, but it's it's you know, there may be some further developments there in the future. Uh, but we need to wrap this thing up because people said keep it to six to seven minutes. Others want it for half an hour. But, but we haven't spoken about Elon. Oh, we can't, we can't do it. Of course. We can't do a vlog without Elon. So I'll tell you mine. Yes. So this past week, Spotify moved into audiobooks. Yes. Okay, so that's good because Spotify is integrated with the Tesla, made by Elon. We can now listen to audiobooks, podcasts, all that kind of stuff. But I went and thought I'd do something different. I used Amazon to buy Elon Musk's latest autobiography by Walter Isaacson, the same author or autobiographer that did Steve Jobs' book. Yep. I bought it. It got delivered to my house. It's this thing. <laughs> it's like an encyclopedia. Yep. And then I thought they also own Audible. So why don't they offer a deal where if you buy the hard copy, you get the ebook for Kindle or the audio book for free or at least 50% off because I want to be able to mix and match. Wow. Like think about retail with Omnichannel where you can access things via different channels. They need to do that between ebooks, audio books and physical books. I actually think the book itself will be a collector's item. So I'd keep that in coffee cellar. table book. No, I'm not cellophane. Coffee table. Put in like like wrap it up and 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 put it into the archives and bring it back in two decades time. Um, but for me, it's all about audio, audible. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. I, I'm time poor. I'm to the minute. In fact, I had a blowout with my kids this morning because they were behind schedule. Um, I need a digital detox sometimes, so I pulled out the book the other day and flicked a couple of pages. But we're out of time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.